Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. The primary purpose of the software of Dentamax as an accounts receivable program is to collect your money, both from insurance and from patients. Uh, Dentamax does a lot of clinical things, but as, accounts, as an accounts receivable package, that is its primary function. And it is second to none. Dentamax, and this is a bold statement, is the most powerful accounts receivables program for dentists. And I'm going to show you what I mean uh, in this tip of the week. And so let's go ahead and I have all these bookmarks across the bottom of the screen, uh, bookmarking several uh, reports and screens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ledger for John K. Mack. And this screen, this gives you uh, complete detail on payments being applied towards your procedures. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the detail view here. The way Denimax works, um, we'll go ahead and click on this uh, core buildup procedure for $132. Everything that corresponds to that procedure, be it a payment or a write-off, is to the side or directly below it. You can see all these uh, things and items in great detail. So here we have our insurance check payment for $15. We have our patient visa payment for $5. We have an insurance write-off for $1. We have a little note that we put in there. Uh, that will appear on the patient statement explaining why the insurance didn't pay the entire amount. And then we have an adjustment of $5. In our little note as well, not only does this note appear on the insurance or on the uh, patient statement, you can double click on it and see additional notes uh, that you might want to use for your office manager if they're having to follow up with that insurance. In addition on this, um, let me go back to John K. Mack. Um, <clears throat> You can see to the far right the balance. Okay, and so there's a balance of $106 on the procedure, and we can see exactly why. Also to the right, we have the same items. We have our insurance payment of $15, uh, patient payment of five, insurance write-off of one, patient write-off of five. How we got to the $106? There's no question. It's like a built-in audit trail of exactly how you got to that $106. And so, if John K. Mac were to call your office and say, why do I owe $106 for that procedure? You have the information at your fingertips. You can tell them why. Other systems, you don't. I can tell you that because I know I worked a front desk and uh, had patients call and go, why do I owe X amount of dollars for this procedure for Susie? And I don't have the answer. First of all, it's a little embarrassing not to know the answer at your fingertips. But second of all, it takes a lot of time. I have to do the research and then call them back. Whereas in Dentamax, all this information on a procedure level is at your fingers, fingertips. Another neat thing is that you can, um, if the insurance didn't pay off the right amount, you want to follow up on a procedure, you can click on the follow up button, and later on, uh, with your follow up reports, follow up with the insurance and then remove that, that follow up uh, little tag there on that procedure. And so, this is your, your ledger screen. The program has wonderful statements that really match this screen. So I'm going to go ahead, the next item, we're going to show off the patient statement. The primary purpose of your patient statement is for the patient to pay you, not to have them call. And so that same detailed information that is in the ledger screen is also here on your patient statement. It's going to show the procedures in great detail, what tooth number and descriptions and so forth, the date and who the patient is. To the right, it's going to show the overall fee, what the insurance paid, what the insurance had you write off, if you had to write off anything from the insurance, your patient payments, if they possibly paid something at the point of service in your office, patient write-offs possibly, the overall balance of that portion what the patient is owes. In this case, the insurance always already has paid in complete in full, and so the patient owes the remaining amount, the full remaining amount. So uh, this is great detail here at the bottom, even shows Insurance is estimated to pay zero. Patient has the full amount, even ages it here across the bottom. In big, bold writing, it has patient due this amount. And so uh, this actually matches, if you notice, this screen over here, your ledger screen. If you go ahead and take away the detail view, they're very similar. So in, in essence, you're handing your patient an interactive ledger you know, with all that great detail so they don't call you they pay you <laughs> off that patient statement that you're sending out. At least that's the plan.
Um, let's go ahead and go on to another report. We have our anticipated family aging report, and here we've been looking at John K. Mack. Um, so it's going to show the last payment date for him. So you can see if he's making payments, saying, trying to stay current at least. How much is uh, in the current period versus 30, 60, 90, or 120 days plus due? In this case, everything's current on John K. Mack. Um, what the overall balance is, um, what portion of that is being owed by the insurance, and in this case, everything's being owed by the family or by John. Okay, wonderful report here. Let's go on to the next one. Um, go ahead and we'll go to print preview here for day sheet. Uh, this is a wonderful report to print out at the end of the day. All the financial activity happening in your practice will appear on this report. So any procedures that you performed, any payments being applied to those procedures, EOBs that you've entered in, write-offs or whatever is all right here. In great detail here at the top and of course at the bottom it shows you the totals. Okay, wonderful report. Let me go on to the next one. I think this is the next one. This is one that I always used to run in my practice. This is your deposit slip and this can show you all the financial activity uh, as far as incoming revenue for your practice. And so uh, on April the 3rd we had uh, a couple of EOBs that came in. Uh, it shows you the total on that. It shows your credit card payments and so you want to see if, if, it have, if we had uh, patient check payments, it would have the details of that with the total, credit cards, insurance, so forth, along with the total complete amount here at the bottom. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Now, this is in a report. This is your interactive revenue screen that shows you, by day, a number, number of financial indicators. The first one I want to show you is the uh, posted payments by day. This is real money. That you received on that day and so on April the 3rd Thursday um, our practice received two thousand three hundred and ten dollars we had a goal of two thousand dollars and we exceeded that uh, we did twenty uh, two thousand three hundred and ten dollars um, not only does it show you your posted payments or your actual cash flow it shows posted charges by day and so um, on that same day we had a goal of twenty two hundred dollars uh, for work that we would have completed that would landed on the ledger maybe hasn't been paid for in total We're still waiting for the insurance to pay for some of those procedures But uh, it shows you the amount of money or the amount of procedures that we posted on that day the dollar amount for that And then of course we have our production schedule um, how, uh, how many procedures the dollar amount for those procedures that we scheduled for that day that, that would be your scheduled production so great screen great way to keep a financial pulse on your practice, especially this post payment one. This is your actual cash flow. I think every small business should have that. Okay, let's go on to one more report. Um, this is your insurance uh, aging report. And so here at the top, it's going to show you um, your uh, time increments. You know, are they current? Are they 120 past days late? And your totals here on the side. And this report gives you all the information your office manager will need without having to go back in the program and look for it. So they can call the insurance and start going after why these these uh, claims have not been paid. So here are all the claims with the patient's name. Um, first of all, you have the insurance phone number you can call. The insurance is going to ask for the patient's name, their date of birth, group name, group number, so forth. You're going to have all that right here on the report. And then you can call on these claims and find out why they have not been paid for. And so uh, Denimax, again, is the most powerful accounts receivable package on the market. Its primary purpose is to collect your money. It does a very good job of that. This has been your tip of the week. I look forward to next week. Thank you.